bass on the fly rod. On the woolly bugger. The white and green woolly bugger. I'm really tiring them out right now. Just uh, to be safe. So he doesn't jump around when he gets up here. This is probably the healthiest bass I've caught in a while. And uh, that's definitely the biggest bass I've caught on a fly rod. Oh, look at him. Whew, he is a tub. Check that out. That woolly bugger right there. That is the healthiest bass I have caught in a long time. Probably about a good month or so. And uh, we're gonna get her back in the water, see if we can catch some more. All right, guys. Oh, this beautiful bass right here on the fly rod. bed is right there. His or her bed is literally right here. Awesome. Big turtle right there. Big bass. Oh. No. Big bass. All right, what's going on guys? So I was inspecting some of my gear after I uh, hooked into that fish in this pond, which I have a really strong suspicion that it's the same fish that I hooked up on a couple weeks ago with my Elite Tech ultralight rod and um, you know I had lost the fish then too but like I said I've been expecting some or er, inspecting some of my gear uh, just you know checking for line frays and stuff like that and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see with the GoPro lens but right there there is no barb and there is no hook point on this woolly bugger anymore. Um, sadly, it's no longer usable and it's one of my favorite flies. Um, caught some of my first fish on this particular fly, so I guess I'll have to retire it. Anyway, guys, uh, that's the second time I hooked up on a big fish like that in this pond, so, you know, like I said, let me hear your thoughts on uh, what type of fish you probably think that was. It's most likely just a bass, but. And it was strong enough to break the hook point on this hook, so. Anyway, guys, have a good day. I know it's, uh, it's nice here in Texas. I hope it's nice where you guys live.